Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ball Fake Podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe, and support our new movement by putting Let's Go Viral in the comment section. But if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, make sure to give us a five-star rating and a nice review. But without further ado, here are your hosts, Nicely Chunga Benny and Greg King. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Ball Fake Podcast. Today, we're going to be debunking this entire situation with Kyrie Irving allegedly wanting to retire if he's traded outside of Brooklyn. But before we hop into all that, got to give a quick shout out to our subscriber today, as always. And today is going to be Kevin Liu. Thank you, bro, so much for like, comment, subscribing, turn on post notification, and just showing so much love and support towards our YouTube channel and our podcast overall. We greatly appreciate it. Now, Greg, I got to hear your thoughts on this entire situation because obviously, you know, as of late, it has been reported allegedly that Kyrie Irving would retire if the Brooklyn Nets traded him. I just got, I got to hear your opinion on this because I don't feel like this is factual information, but just yeah. give us your thoughts on this real quick. Yeah, I think it's cap. I think it's cap, man. And it's just because like, if it didn't come from, I, it didn't come from Kyrie's mouth. It came from, you know, sources, his camp that allegedly that he would, he would retire if he, if he was traded outside of Brooklyn. Brooklyn, I mean, New York is his hometown. That's his home city. He, you know, he built this team with KD. They both joined together. KD just joined, uh, just, just signed a three-year extension with the team so I, I don't see Kyrie going anywhere um if they do trade him it, it would have to be a blow away offer but just the way that this this you know this news kind of came out kind of came out of left field very surprised that it came out yesterday and um I, I just don't think I think it's cap I don't think it's real news fake news um especially because Kyrie did Kyrie did not say it at all yeah, what, what led me to believe that Kyrie Irving didn't make these statements is the fact that I don't feel like there are any actual trade rumors for Kyrie Irving. Now, yeah. we know, you know, typically GMs, they make a lot of calls during the offseason about what particular players are available in trades, possibly, you know, before the season starts and everything. And, and I find it hard to believe that the Brooklyn Nets would be so willing to ship Kyrie Irving out as of right now just given the fact that you know he's coming off one of his best offensive seasons in his entire nba career i mean he made all nba second team was a, had a 50 40 90 season was pretty efficient offensively i mean this guy put up career numbers so with all that being said i don't really see how you know this entire situation could be true um but i i do kind of feel like there are some scenarios that kind of would lead people to believing why these are true just given the fact you know Kyrie Irving, he can be a bit of a distraction and a headache in the locker room i mean we saw this on display firsthand last year i mean he refused to report to a few games last year due to personal reasons um yeah. On top of that, you know, he doesn't really always get along with the people in the front office. I know he he was reportedly a little bit unhappy about the Steve Nash hiring. I don't know too much about that. But I mean, also on top of that, you know, this is a guy that refuses to talk to the media. We know he's gotten in a little bit of trouble about that last year. And then on top of that, he doesn't always prioritize basketball. This is a guy that, you know, is seems to be a social rights activist and everything really involved within his community, especially in uh, the Brooklyn area. So, I mean, I, I can see why, you know, people would be led to think that there are some trade rumors for Kyrie Irving, but ultimately I don't really believe in it to be honest with you Greg yeah yeah I totally agree with what you said I mean I, Kyrie is very you know very invested in the community very invested into his Muslim faith um but he just he, you know Kyrie is a guy who just has a lot of avenues and sometimes he can get carried away with those avenues outside of basketball and doesn't really focus on basketball but when he locks in you know he can be a 50 40 90 guy and I think he you know he's one of the best third options in the league and, and provides so much on the offense end for the Nets and it really hurt them when he went down last year in the playoffs it's just for a guy who's injury prone and you know doesn't talk to the media and you know the off-court issues it doesn't look good you know coming out of Nets organization organization you know yesterday that uh he's having another off-court issue so especially for a team that's trying to compete for a championship after what happened last year right and I think the only way that Kyrie Irving would actually be dealt is if you know a number of bad situations happen whether or not you know maybe Kevin Durant requests a trade which probably isn't going to happen that seems very unlikely we know those two have a really great relationship they play well together especially alongside James Harden and on top of that these two recruited each other to come to Brooklyn in the first place so I doubt a trade request for Kyrie Irving would be you know adamant and then on top of that maybe there's a situation where the Brooklyn Nets come into next season with a lot of high expectations but you know vastly underperformed we know they've been having some issues defensively all last year this offseason I was looking for Sean Marks to make a few acquisitions that would, you know, help them in that department. Didn't really make any home run hitters that would really do, um, um, 
them any due diligence on that side of the basketball outside of you know guys like patty mills they still need a rim protector they ended up losing deandre jordan um i don't know if nicholas claxton is really ready to you know be that effective on that side of the basketball and you know come up big for them in the postseason just yet but the last scenario will also be if they maybe we're able to get a player that's a little bit more suitable alongside, you know, Kevin Durant and James Harden. We've here we've been hearing a lot about, you know, Ben Simmons as of late. We know what he does defensively. He could help them in that department while also not taking away from their offense too much. This is a guy that will be an additional playmaker and he's going to add a lot of size to that lineup as well. too. So they would be able to match up better with teams like, you know, the Los Angeles Lakers, the Milwaukee Bucks, you know, teams of that caliber and everything. So, I mean, I don't see any trade really going down unless maybe those situations scenarios come into play but I mean just for our final thoughts Greg what what is your final analysis on this entire situation I think this rumor or, what, or whatever report will you know will die out Kyrie Kyrie really de debunked it as soon as the tweet dropped um and it'll, it'll go away I think Kyrie will you know focus on the season coming up and you know fix fix the things that he's doing off court and really lock in for the season yeah, and I and I don't. I, once again, I don't believe that Kyrie Irving came out and made these statements. I think his camp implied that he would feel this type of way, and you know, would end up retiring, um, maybe as a joke or something. I'm not sh really sure, but I mean, also we have to take into account this is a guy that is the hometown hero. He enjoys playing alongside guys like Kevin Durant and James Harden. He wants to compete for titles year in and year out. And then on top of that, I think Kyrie Irving kind of you know had a really reality check in Boston. He, I think he yeah. understands that he's best suited as you know a number two and number three option best suited as a sidekick rather than you know the leader of a team trying to make it to the nba finals and then on top of that brooklyn they're going to give him the best shot of winning an nba title any other team that he's traded to unless it's the los angeles lakers probably don't give him the same amount of percentage chances to you know hold up that trophy at the end of the season so i think with all that being said kyrie Irving definitely did not um, make any of these statements and probably will not retire if he is traded which i doubt will happen but you guys let us know what y'all think about this entire situation in the comment section thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode with me and greg on the ball fake podcast greatly appreciate it make sure if you're watching on youtube like comment and subscribe and turn on post notification and if you're listening on all apple Podcasts or spotify make sure to give us a five star rating and a nice review but besides that it's your boy nicey chunga benny i'm here with my co-host greg king and we out we out